If you're a beginner and you want to learn blockchain development, one thing that might be scary to you is does it take too long to learn blockchain development? You probably already have other things to do. So you want to make sure that you'll be able to manage your time if you make this commitment. So in this video, I'm going to break down the different parts you need to learn for blockchain development and we'll see how long does it take to learn each part. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to give you a few tips so that you can make the whole learning process way faster. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development on Ethereum. So a prerequisite to learn blockchain development is some basic knowledge in web development. So you should be able to create some simple website with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. If you don't know this, you will need to spend some time to cover this part. So for a beginner to learn some basic web development takes about 2-3 months. The next level is to learn how blockchain and Ethereum work. For example, you can read books like Mastering Bitcoin from Andras Antonopoulos. And this is probably going to take you between 2 weeks and a month. Once you know how blockchain works, the next step is to learn about smart contract programming with Solidity. This will probably take you 2 months. And after that, you need to learn how you can build a full decentralized application with not only a smart contract on the blockchain, but also a user interface in a website. This will probably take you another two months. So total, that's about eight months. But if you already know web development, you can remove three months to this. So that will be about five months. So now let's see some tricks so that you can make the learning process even faster. So when I mentioned duration before, I was assuming that you are working between one to three hours every day. And the reason why I'm saying this is because if you work for a time that is too short, then you're not going to be able to reach that level of focus. So for example, don't try to just learn for one hour and uh, then stop, then it's just too short. So try to do at least two hours to probably the ideal will be three hours. Another thing that is really important is that you are really consistent. So if you set up a learning schedule, then you really got to stick to your schedule and don't start to learn a lot like for a couple of days and then you don't do anything for a few weeks and then you come back to it because you're going to uh, forget a lot of things you've just learned before so really try to be consistent so at the beginning don't be ambitious start with a realistic learning schedule and as you get better and more consistent then you can progressively increase the hours you do every day another trick to learn even faster is to focus on tutorials that really help you to build actual project and don't just talk of the theory in general, most people learn best by doing projects and also projects give you a lot of confidence. In my blockchain course, DAP30, we build 30 decentralized applications and 30 Solidity smart contracts. And the time required to complete this course is between 3 to 4 months. If you want to get even more tips about how you can become a blockchain developer, I've actually prepared a free training where I give you the whole plan from A to Z, everything you need to know to become a blockchain developer and get your first blockchain job. This is absolutely free. Just click on this link. I'll see you there.